there's different ways you can fish a jerk bait. Pay attention to the cadence that you're jerking that jerk bait. And it's either hard snaps of the rod or it could be short snaps of the rod. You might want to let that bait set for a while. Um, you may want to jerk it real fast. You know, it, let the fish tell you what they want. A lot of times on smallmouth, I like to get real erratic with it. You know, I'll jerk it. I might just pull it and rip it, move it a lot, and get a reaction strike. Sometimes you want to get that jerk bait suspended. You know, you might have to put some weight on it. Sometimes that's what it takes to catch them. So just pay attention and let the fish tell you what the way they want it. You know, the rock crawler is really designed for, for colder water. You know, when the water temperature's 40 to 60 degrees, I would say. And then, now, that don't mean it won't catch them any time of the year, but to me, that's when it shines the best. It's got the right wobble that you want in the wintertime. You know, it's not too erratic, but it still displaces enough water that if you want to fish it in stained water, you can. I mean, you still feel like you got a chance to catch fish. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah. Woo! He's a little hot. Mm. That. Well, he's clamped down, I'm trying to clamp down on my finger. Nice fish. You know, one thing that you want to remember in any kind of fishing you're doing, I don't care what kind of bait you're throwing, to make it easier on yourself, use the right equipment, you know. And I'm not saying you have to have the highest dollar equipment, but use something that's comfortable. Lighter rods, lighter reels, uh, good reels. I mean, that makes the biggest difference in throwing a jerk bait, having the right rod. A lot of people want to use a rod that's too big for a jerk bait. The rod I was using is a Cabela's, it's an XML rod. It's a six foot seven medium action. And that's shorter rod than I use on anything else. But you're twitching a lot. I throw that on a jerk bait and a popper, any, any kind of top water. But it just allows you to fish all day long and not be as sore. You'll get sore knotted up between your shoulders from jerking that jerk bait all day long. So use something that's light that you can handle and fish with all day. You know, whether you got bluebird days and you got cloudy days, for me, I like it cloudy. Fish seem to bite better. On this trip, we started out, it's, you know, started out cloudy, real foggy, misty rain a little bit. Even though it's winter time and it's cold, them are great days to fish. Fish are normally biting better. As you can see, that's when we caught the majority of our fish. You know, all in all, it was a good trip. We caught several fish. We didn't just crush them. Uh, what really wasn't quite what I expected, but it was still good. We had a great time. We caught a lot of fish, and hey, it's better than sitting in the office. <laughs>